Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and uh, in the previous tutorial, as you remembered, we have successfully uh, allow, a, uh, allow an admin. Let me first log out from here. So in the previous tutorial, we have successfully allow an admin to uh, edit the product price, the product description and the product, uh, product name. And now in this tutorial, we are going to allow admin to uh, delete any specific product. That is, let's say if that product is uh, sell completely, I mean, and if there is no such product available uh, in the store, in the admin store, then he can delete that product from here, I mean, from the database or you can say from this uh, home activity. So, yeah, let's do that. So, we will be adding a button here for that. So, I'm going to the Android Studio and let's come here to the admin maintain products activity which is this one to the XML file and uh, we have this relative layout and let's copy paste this button okay let's do it uh, inside below that I mean and we should change the ID for this to delete underscore product button okay and it should be below this button so copy the ID of it and paste that here which is this button and change this to delete this product that's it we should move this button to the bottom here okay so for that I'm going to write uh, a line parent bottom to true and what I'm going to do is remove this margin bottom in that thing okay margin from all the sides layout margin so what I'm going to do is remove this layout margin okay and here we have already this margin top so margin from the top it should be 20 30 dp let's give it and see what happens okay this thing and margin from the bottom should also be 30 dp now let's do something here which is margin end margin top start margin from the bottom should be 5 dp let's see how it looks well that is okay and one thing which I need to do okay 30 is good I mean the design is a look with that that is good okay so this is the delete product now let's add this button here we have button here we can just put a comma the design is totally up to you guys I mean whatever the design you like you can change uh, change the design at any time so yeah this is our delete button and here we can just cast it delete button and here we can give id to it which is our delete product button now whenever the user click on that so here we can say inside the own create that is delete button dot set on click listener new on click listener and here we will write the let's create a method delete this product which is just a method so in here we can just write a query product reference dot remove value that's it and we can say or add on complete listener new on complete listener and we can tell the admin that is the product 
is deleted successfully specific product that is on which the user click okay so yeah that's it now let's uh, uh, okay first of all make sure to yeah everything is okay but uh, I'm just curious about this button this not looks okay here I'm just moving it above little bit remove this align parent bottom okay just like that margin from the top or let's give it a margin from all the sides margin 20 that will be good in order to 30 yeah let's test the app to see how it works so the app is running now successfully let's go to the admin activity so first we can test it I mean delete any product as an admin what one six and now let's log in let's go to the maintain products and this time I'm going to delete this headphone okay click on that and let's check this so delete this product and boom the product is deleted successfully if we go back and here you can see the product is deleted successfully now one thing which we need to add is an intent after deleting the product you do not want the admin to stay on the admin maintain product activity you want to send him to the back activity so for that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this intent copy it and in here in our method which is delete this product after the toast message or first of all here at the top you can say that is this thing okay yeah now let's test the app and delete some more products so the app is running now once more time in admin login admin and I'm logging successfully let's go to the maintain products and you can see the previous product is deleted successfully now I'm going to delete the school summer t-shirts okay so let's click on that and let's click here delete this product and here we go the product is deleted successfully if we go to the maintain products then here you can see those two products are deleted successfully that is the headphone and the cool summer t-shirts now also uh, let's change the description I mean edit the product so MacBook Pro let's say 2018 let's say and then the price of this product is let's say 2000 2000 and let's say it is 16 GB let's click on apply changes and boom changes applied successfully now let's check it if it is done or not so here you can see this MacBook Pro 2018 price this RAM 16 and the changes has been done successfully also the admin can product uh, delete any specific product so yeah this is what also now I'm going to log out and check this from the end user if uh, all the changes occur there are or not so now I am login as a user okay Mohammed Ali this and here you can see this the changes Mohammed Mag, uh, MacBook Pro 2018 and the end user name is Mohammed Ali this is the picture I mean uh, all the two products are deleted that is the cool summer t-shirts and the other one which is the headphone X okay and here you can see also the product uh, changes which we did here uh, also that changes occur successfully that is MacBook Pro 2019 and RAM is 16 GB so yeah, I mean uh, that is working really nice that is so cool now uh, yeah I mean that's it 
so yeah if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe don't forget to follow me on my instagram and twitter account by this username take care of yourself and bye for now